guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here in a brand new completion review video and as you can see, we have this gorgeous butterfly on a sunflower with the yellow and blues that remind me of the Ukrainian flag and this is just beautiful. All right, so I got this at Fansells. It was $6.39. Um, here's my little book. Here's my thumbnail. It is item CU005 on Fansells. It is 30 by 40 centimeters. I just call it the Butterfly Sunflower. It is a rhinestone slash crystal special drill. There were 19 colors, and they just started from one to seven and then a b c d which is great i wish they all did this um yeah and i started this on may the 19th i finished it on may the 22nd it is 30 by 40 centimeters and i really enjoyed the special drills a lot so pros absolutely gorgeous clear drills very good stick sparkly um, all crystal drills, which was really a lot of fun to work with. I love the sparkle. Um, I didn't run out of anything. There were tons of extra drills, and I did keep them near me for this video. I didn't put them away yet. So these are all the extras. I even had some extras of the big ones. And all the smaller ones. There's tons of extras, which is great. Because I actually might start using these in my normal drills, like for things that I think should be shiny, like windows if I'm doing a house, or the sun if I'm doing a sunset, things like that. Anyway, I'm very, very happy when they give extras. Um, the price was great. It was only $6.39 Canadian on Fansels. Um, The cons were the drill field was a little bit light. And by that I mean was almost like it was at the middle to end of a print run, so it was a little bit faded. I could still clearly make out the difference, because there were only 19 colors, and they were just all different um, numbers, like one was yellow, two was black, the only a heart, like three and four were both blue, the five was yellow, so there wasn't really anything that was hard to see. I had no trouble doing it. But it was faded, I will be honest. It looked like an end of a print run. You know when you're printing something and you need to change the ink in your printer? It was like kind of like that. You could still make out what it was, but it wasn't something that... Like if it were me, I would have done it again. But you know what? It's a budget site and it came out beautifully and I, I had no trouble with it. I did use my um, my Art.Light thing, um, my light pad, which I'm using right now just to hold it up. So anyway, even though it was faded, it was readable. So there's that. All right, so let's take a closer look at these beautiful drills. So these are all crystal or rhinestone drills. And this is what I thought diamond painting was. When I first heard about diamond painting, I thought this was what it was going to be. And when I found out it was just plastic, I was really sad and I didn't want to get into it because I thought it should be all crystal drills, like rhinestone. And I just thought, oh, I didn't understand that they were faceted and they would still shine just as much, you know. But I really do enjoy working with the rhinestones. The black were not. They were solid. But as you can see, they still sparkle. And uh, there were some bigger special drills in the butterfly. Now, one thing I really liked about this beyond how beautiful it is and the sparkle and the color was how crisp and clear the photo is. Um, the sunflowers, like it's a crisp shot. Sometimes when I, I find with some of the diamond paintings, the colors bleed out. Like say here's the yellow petal. In some it's like the yellow kind of bleeds out into the blue instead of stays in place. It gets too pixelated where it kind of comes out a lot. But this has none of that. It gets just beautiful. It's so crisp and clear. I really love this. And I find the key with ordering the smaller diamond paintings, the 30 by 40, is to get close-ups. Close-up image, images, like this big sunflower with the big butterfly in the middle, they work the best. Something like a landscape with a lot of detailing doesn't come out as nicely, unfortunately. 
Now, I just want to show you the difference. I've got my big eyed cat girl over here. She is not a special drill. This is like the regular drill that I just did a review for. And see how nice and sparkly it is? So here's the difference between the crystal and the regular. So the crystal, depending on your angle, it does have more light beaming back at you. But the other one sparkles just as much when the light hits it. I mean, here, look at all the sparkle in the regular drill. That is a regular drill. And how cool would it have been if I would have done the crystal first? Because I would have put some brown sparkly ones in the eyes for her. And in, in the cat, I think I would have done like green sparkly eyes. But I did her first. But look at how sparkly. So I like them both. I do like the finished version of them both. But while I'm doing them, let me just grab a color here. Let's grab a nice vibrant orange. While I'm doing them, this makes me happy to look at these bright colors. Now, the thing with these colors is I find sometimes the colors come off. So you touch it with the pen and the orange comes off and it's just clear underneath. So the color seems to just be a coating on the outside. So some of them I had to throw away and then just replace because I didn't want bare ones. Some of them were like just clear. But other than that, they were fine. And I've got so many left over, including like it only took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It took eight of the red ones, and I've got two. I've got six big red ones left. I mean, they were very super generous with all of these, which is really good. And I just love the colors. Like, look, look at how vibrant the green is. And look at this blue. And, and in the butterfly and the orange and the yellow. It's just really pretty. And the blue is not just a solid color. The blue is about three or four different colors of blue in the background. There's all different shades. I don't know if you can see it. If the, there's some darker and some lighter, like almost silvery blue. So the blue is not just um, all, it's not color blocking at all. There was a lot of um, confetti. Like, I don't know if it's showing up. But you can see some darker blue, the lighter blue, the silver blue. There's like, yeah, there's like several different colors of blue in this. So yeah, it came out really nice. And there was purple. There was like a purpley blue that I think was in the butterfly and in, in some of this area over here. So yeah, it was really um a lot of fun to do. Even the yellow, there were different colors of yellow. There were a few shades of yellow and orange in the yellow. It wasn't all color blocking, but there was more color blocking in the yellow. Like there was all this light yellow with a darker yellow in, in the middle. And then the orange, there were different shades of orange. So it really um, was really pretty to do. I don't know. I just really love this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? Do you like that one? Have you done it? I saw someone on uh, Facebook who, who who finished this the same day that I did, and she posted a picture. I haven't posted this yet. So anyway, um, that's it. I just really love this. I can't wait to put, I'm keeping this for myself. This is not a gift. I'm putting it on my wall, and I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. I know there's been a lot of butterflies and flowers lately, but I love butterflies, flowers, birds, animals. You're going to see a lot of that on my channel. I do have some landscape paintings that I ordered that I haven't unboxed yet. I'm afraid to because they're gigantic and um, I haven't, I'm just not ready to start such big ones yet. I just started doing this at Christmas time. So I'm a beginner and I'm getting faster. I can do these faster now, but I get totally obsessed and I stay up all night long and I'm afraid that if I do one of those big ones, I'm going to probably save the big ones for the winter because I live in Canada and we have very, very short summers here. So I want to be able to get outside while I can. And I'll probably um, save the bigger ones for when the weather gets yucky. Or if it gets really hot. If we have a heat wave, I also can't go out during a heat wave with my asthma. And I need to stay inside. So I'll be saving those for when I can't go out. In the meantime, I'm really enjoying the smaller ones. All right, guys. Take care. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that. 
Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much to those of you who have subscribed. And I hope you're all going to have a great day and that you're enjoying whatever you're working on. Let me know in the comments what you're working on. I'd really love to hear. All right, guys. Most importantly, about take care, stay safe, and bye for now.